Hello, good day, my subscribers. My name is Joseph Ocheme, the content creator of For Let's Hope channel. Now, today I'm here to show you the two powerful energy savers. Now, before we go into the two energy power savers, it is good for us to consider some certain things. Now, there are two basic kind of load we must know. There is the resistive load and there is the inductive load. Now, what do I mean by resistive load? Resistive load are those load that emit heat while they are being plugged into electrical socket. For example, your light bulb, your electric iron, your electric cooker, your electric kettle, your electric stove. Those items that emit heat, we regard to them as a resistive load. Now, the second kind of load is called the inductive load. The inductive load are those load that contains coil in them, are those load that involve electric motors and the likes. So those kind of load, we call them an inductive load. And also we have a capacitance load also, which is being made um, from the capacitor, but we are not going to go much into the capacitance load. But the two major load which we have is the resistive load and the inductive load. Now, many of you are confused. Many of you think load is load. Electrical load is electrical load. No, there are two different kinds of load. The way a, an ion behaves on, a, on an electric current or on a socket is different from the way an induction motor behaves. What works for pressing ion is quite different from what works for an induction motor or for an electric motor. So please, we must bear this in mind. Before we go further, I'm going to give you a, a demonstration on the resistive kind of energy saver and the inductive kind of energy saver. Most, many of you know most of my uh, videos which I post in the past about electric motor. So there is a modification for that one in my previous video. But this video, I'm going to show you first one of the tests that I did on the resistive kind of um, energy saver. So let's go. I'm using a electric cooker on, on an inverter. So here is the video. Take a good look at the video and also take a good look at the inductive kind of energy saver. Let's dive into the video. See for yourself. Thank you an electric cooker as you can see a hot plate so before then we're going to plug it on on the on the um, inverter this inverter right here is 1500 so we're going to plug it you will notice a sound on the inverter you will notice a sound on the inverter a beeping sound as i'm plugging it right here meaning there is a too much load on it so let's let's scroll down to the inverter right here as you can see here is the load section here is the load so let me plug it directly right here so you can see the heavy load it will consume if you can see there is the load terminal the load um, signal so let me put it as you can see, the load is too much. That is why it is beeping. So let us plug our circuit. Once we plug this circuit, this is our booster, our upgraded draw teeth. Once we plug it, then we're going to plug it to the booster right here. It is being plugged. It is being plugged. So let's check out the load capacity as you can see here is the load capacity on the inverter as you can see ordinarily this socket can this ordinarily from the inverter it cannot carry this as you can see it's hot right here i'm going to do the video as you can see it's connected as you can see it's red hot right here it's not like this one here is not hot but here is very hot very very hot let me bring water to show you the test you can see here's the water so that is it 
that is how the booster functions and it works very well very very well so here is it the electric motor so you can see here is it nothing hidden here is the um, calculations 1.1 kilowatts that is 1.5 horsepower there's no hidden wire anywhere so here is it the functional wire and the other wires that came out come down to this control box right here as you can see there are four wires that comes out from here down to here to do the work now here is the face for the AC so here is a multimeter we are going to read the voltage coming out from here so we can see so we're going to take it down to the voltage to read the voltage and see it's reading 208 volts 208 volts so let's take it out So let us start the machine. This right here to see how many amps it is going to consume from the light source. So let's go. So once we go, you can see that started. That started spinning. So here is our clamp meter. We are going to switch it over to amps, 200 amps. So we use our clamp meter from here. You can see 0, 0.00, not reading any amps. So let me show you the proof for this. As you guys watch, be watching the amps while, while I press this button. From here, I believe you'll be able to see the amperage. So this amp is the original amps. That's why I'm pressing the button. That should be the original amps. Because I'm rightly pressing this button right here. But once I release the button, everything comes to zero. Click between 0 0.1 to 0, 0.00. That is to say, it is running on a very low watt. Running at a very low watt. So let's do the calculation. We're going to times the voltage which you see here times the amps. That's what is going to give us the watts. This particular stuff is using. So let's put a load. Let's apply some amount of force on it. So once we apply the amount of force, we are going to take a good look on the meter. You can see. So that is how this functions.